contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the first from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing 224 pounds, Severino Corrente. Severino Corrente making his AEW debut, and Taz, he's going to have a healthy dose of competition and a very motivated Jimmy Havoc coming up next. Yeah, that's the thing. You're dealing with someone like a Jimmy Havoc, a uh, very dangerous individual, a vicious and violent competitor. So uh, Severino might have his hands full with Mr. Havoc. But a victory over Jimmy Havoc, who is undefeated here in 2020, could be huge for young Mr. Corrente. And his opponent from Camden Town in London, England, weighing 14 stone, Jimmy Heaven. And I mentioned his uh, undefeated streak here in the new year, but he has also had a, a share of uh, interested onlookers, shall we say, in Luther and Mel. Absolutely, yeah, you have someone like Luther stalking you. That's never a good thing. But hey, kind of look at Jimmy Havoc and his history in the industry. He's kind of used to being stalked. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I, I, I am a fan of his work, though. I, I know you are also. We've talked and we've covered uh, Jimmy Havoc's matches a good amount here. And he's um, he's kind of a hybrid, in my opinion. It's not just his violence. We know about his violence side and what he could do as far as blood, guts, and whatnot, and gore. But yet he's been shown a lot of in-ring strong wrestling and technical, technically sound, which is impressive by Havoc. That's right, he came up through the British uh, British wrestling system. He was an early classmate of Zack Sabre Jr., widely regarded sure. as one of, one of the best technical wrestlers in the entire world. Yeah, and tremendous catch competitor and, and pure wrestler, yeah, absolutely. And Jimmy Havoc is, uh, you know, he was in all those same classes, though obviously his, um, his, his road in professional wrestling took him down a different path, a very dark path but he still has that those foundational elements, Taz. Well, yeah, you're right. Uh, no, Excalibur, you're right, but yes, a dog path for Havoc, but a successful path. You know, and, and that, that's what I'm impressed mostly with. Now, his opponent here, uh, Severino Corrente, he's kind of got a nice low base and a good stance, but now controlling the arm, that left arm, oh, and snapping back those fingers goes Havoc. And look at this, manipulating the entire left arm. Gotta watch that elbow joint, man. Severino Corrente, oh. and, and now with Corrente, oh, nice. tied job. up. Yep. And this is that technical prowess and that boot across the face of Corrente. That's the mean streak. Oh, there's the even meaner wow. streak. You're taking the thumb oh. of the pointy finger. I think that's the index, right? I think so. I'm not good with the anatomy that well with fingers in. That oh, is right. the index finger. Yes. The pointy one. Right, the point one. Oh, Corrente. Right hand to the jaw. Jimmy Havoc shrugs it off and asks for one more. Yeah, I think Corrente is a little surprised that uh, it didn't really affect Jimmy Havoc much. Keep it, keep it going, young man. Don't stop. Corrente throwing everything he had into that one, but Jimmy Havoc just laughs Ooh. him off and discus elbow levels him. And now Havoc sends Corrente face first in that top turnbuckle. Those forearms and a chop, then a forearm, then a chop. Physicality at its blatant best right here by Jimmy Havoc. A Super Dragon-esque violence party there from Jimmy Havoc, and he puts the boot right between the shoulder blades of Severino Corrente. Corrente is weeping in pain right now. Look at us now. Oh, the fish hook, fish hooking, I should say, the mouth there of Corrente. Havoc has Corrente up on the shoulders. But oh, look whoa, at this. Whoa, whoa. Corrente got himself some eyes. It looked like might have raked Havoc's eye to a degree there. Fight fire with fire, right? But Ooh. Havoc was smiling after that. Now, Corrente. Keeping up the attack, laying in those shoulders to the midsection of Jimmy Havoc. A key to being a successful wrestler is being one head, one move ahead of yourself. That does make sense if you think about what I'm saying. You got, and, and unfortunately, this young man is not one step ahead of himself. He's thinking too much, which he's, is going to cost him. He's reacting. He's That's right. right. Oh, and Havoc, though, a step ahead of himself and a step ahead of Corrente. Actually, two steps that were planted right in the chest. And now Havoc. The, oh, wow. Suplex into the corner. Nowhere for your lower body to land. It just jackknifes your neck and upper back area. Look at Havoc here. Havoc. Oh, that wow. Diving foot stomps. And Jimmy Havoc just terrorizing Severino Corrente here. Just another day in the office for Jimmy Havoc. What's next? He has the arm captured, rolls him out. 
massive rainmaker countered by Corrente. Corrente. Oh, oh wow. Look at this. This kid Corrente had a no one with a German suplex to that top turnbuckle. A desperation move there by Corrente, and now trying to put Havoc away. Havoc, though, escapes out from the pinning predicament. One again. Corrente needs to keep the pressure on. He's got Havoc rattled. Yeah, he's thinking way too much. And you're right, he did. He did, Excalibur, have uh, Jimmy Havoc rattle after that suplex. Havoc still rattled. Oh, but look at this. Corrente. Corrente was fish hooking him, but Jimmy Havoc's got the, the fingers. Oh, of that's a tough way to spend a night on YouTube, getting your finger bit off by Havoc. Oh, the double eye poke. Larry Fine couldn't have done it better. And now Jimmy Havoc. Oh, just plants Corrente. Just face first and boom, man. Double foot drop kick. Jimmy Havoc. Blocks that round kick, get yeah, caught him. Oh, plants Corrente. The elevated leg hook DDT. A lot of high impact stuff by Jimmy Havoc here, Excalibur. Corrente might be just about toast. Rolling Death Valley driver. And now Havoc. Gonna put the lights out of Severino Corrente. Well, he's not done yet. <laughs> what more? I mean, what more are you gonna do to him, Jimmy? Havoc, Ripcord Jones here. Well, maybe. Acid Rainmaker! That's it. There it is. Jimmy Havoc looking impressive, continuing to rack up the wins here in the year 2020. No winner of this match, Jimmy. Havoc! Yeah, high intensity right there, Excalibur. Excalibur, I should say. Look. And Havoc turning his attention to the top of the ramp, beckoning Luther, beckoning Mel to come out, but they're nowhere to be found. Jimmy Havoc oh, victorious here on AEW. Yeah, strong, strong impact. Whoa, 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 oh, no, no. Luther! Oh! Luther, the original death dealer, now laying the boots in on Jimmy Havoc. And oh! smashing Havoc into the barricade. Two vicious and vile men right here, and Luther, the attack from behind. After a match! Oh, DDT right here on the ramp. And Luther pointing to that, to that third eye, indicating to Havoc I've got your number. Did the damage like a true veteran and just leaves. Leave it havoc laying. Well, this is not over between the original death dealer Luther and Jimmy Havoc.